Ever felt like the odd one in a sea of avid sports fans? Your mind wandering, you know, elsewhere while everyone else is engulfed in the thrill of the game. If this paints a familiar picture, then this video is for you, my wonderfully unique friend. You see, it's not uncommon to feel a little out of step in such situations. It's as if the whole wide world is passionately enthralled by the spectacle of sport, by the mere chasing concept after a ball or racing to the finish line and you simply can't understand why, why, why. You may have even questioned your oddity, feeling like the odd duck out. But, 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 fear not, my friend, this video serves as your companion in cherishing your unconventional interests. Get ready to question why the fascination with sports ever became a global phenomenon in the first place. You'll discover that it's absolutely okay, it's okay, it's okay to diverge from the mainstream and screen to have interests that stray from the path of athletic enthusiasm. So sit tight and prepare to embrace your uniquely delightful self. It's okay to hug yourself. It's okay. Now welcome to the journey of self-discovery, of thriving in your own individuality. Welcome to embracing your individuality thriving as a non-sports fan or fanatic. You pick, you choose, I gave you multiple options, or at least two. It's time to celebrate you just the way you are. So let's go ahead and dive right in, but not head first, not head first. Breaking the mold. Sure, the conventional idea of a good time might revolve around huddling over sports stats or passionately shouting at refs through our TV screens or computer or laptops or cell phones. But let's take a moment and entertain a radical thought. What if, yeah, what if we decided to go against the grain to diverge from this well-trodden path? I mean, the beauty of this alternate path is that while everyone else is counting down the game day, we have our Sundays free for untamed adventures beyond the four walls of our living rooms. Just imagine a day of leisure when the majority of people are preoccupied discussing the contentious penalty calls and criticizing ref's decisions. Our sports fervent friends may glance our way shake their heads, judge us, but it's all right. And they will assume that we are missing out. Little, yes, little do they realize the sheer joy we thrive and get from exploring our hobbies that aren't confined by chalk borders or simple goal posts. Engaging in activities that fill our souls with joy in our hearts with exhilaration without any need for us to differentiate between a touchdown and a home run. We don't need it. Consider the tranquility found in the humble act of painting every brushstroke, a testament to your patience and creativity, or perhaps, perhaps, the adrenaline pump and thrill of rock climbing. I want to climb some rocks and kick rocks where every hand held or hold pushes you further, commanding your determination and strength as you ascend. Oh, that's right, we're rock climbing. I had to get the, get the memo, get the picture back in my, my brain. The world is rife with such experiences. Yeah, it is. Waiting to be discovered by those willing to step out of conventional bounds or their comfort zone. Do it. Not following sports doesn't mean a lack of interest in life. No. On the contrary, it's akin to uncovering secret bonus levels in the game of life that no one else knew existed. You're welcome. You're welcome. Corky, you might say. Perhaps. But let's embrace our uniqueness. 
our unorthodox interests. Let's relish the joy of the unexplored, the thrill of the uncharted territory because after all, who said the road less traveled couldn't be the most exciting one? And that's a real question. So let's celebrate individuality and thrive as non-sports fans. Discovering the uncharted. Now, 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 diving into the uncharted waters of non-sports hobbies is like opening a treasure trash. You never know what gems you're gonna uncover. Picture this, picture this, picture this. On a Saturday, a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning when most people are glued, you know, to the pre-game shows. You've uncovered it. They're glued to their pre-game shows. You could be, what, mastering the fine art of what, you might ask. I know, I know. Uh, mastering the fine art of French cooking or perhaps even honing your skills in woodworking, crafting masterpieces that tell tales more thrilling than any sports commentary. Let's not forget the art of conversation beyond sports talk. Have you ever discussed the mysteries of the universe over coffee? I don't drink coffee, but you can try tea. Or debated which superhero make or would make the best world leader. These conversations can weave connections far deeper than shared frustrations over last night's brutal loss. It was a loss, brutal loss. Building meaningful bonds through diverse interests opens up the colors in a relationship. Imagine bonding with someone over your mutual love for astronomy or sharing the exhilarating moment when you don or when your drone captures breathtaking aerials. Pictures, views, a stark contrast to the unusual or usual high fives exchange after the touchdowns. Unusual, if you don't do it, you get it. This journey isn't just about replacing sports with other hobbies. It's about embracing and celebrating those quirks that make each one of us extraordinary oddballs by stepping out of the mainstream arena and exploring these diverse passions we uncover, aspects of ourselves and others that lay hidden under conventional pleasures or rocks. It's an adventure that rewards not only with newfound obsessions, but also with enriching friendships that go far beyond simple or simply rooting for the same team. Who's ready to dive into these uncharted waters with me? Yeah. Embrace your unique self. Embracing your unique self in a world obsessed with scores and statistics is like wearing a badge of honor. It sets you free to be unapologetically you. Imagine walking into a room full of sports fanatics and instead of blending in, you shine brighter than a light. You shine brighter by sharing tales from the novel you're writing. The last mountain you conquered or climbed. There's unparalleled freedom in being an eccentric outlier, regardless if that includes being a fan of touchdowns or a fan of tea tasting. Finding joy and passion outside the stadium might lead you to discover parts of yourself previously overshadowed by mainstream or screen hobbies. Yeah. It could be the thrill of capturing the perfect sunset through your lens or feeling waves crash against your surfboard at dawn. Moments where time stands still and all that matters, and all that matters is the present adventure. And when it comes down to creating a legacy beyond sports achievements, remember this, remember this, remember this. What do we love 
What do we do for love? What do what we do for love, I should say. Third time's a charm. Seriously. What we do for love leaves behind the most enduring legacy. Whether it's crafting beautiful melodies on your guitar for loved ones or planting trees for future generations to enjoy nature's symphony. These are the marks we leave on this world, a testament to living with quirky passion outside of conventional boundaries. So fear not, fear not, don't do it, it's okay. Stepping away from societal norms, norms, my eccentric companions, there is beauty and diversity and strength in pursuing what genuinely lights up our weird little hearts. After all, isn't life too short to live any other way than marching to the beat of your own drum? Even if it's an offbeat drum, by the way. Join the League of Extraordinary Non-Sports Fans. All right, team of extraordinary non-sports fans. It's your time to shine. It is. Share your unique hobby or interest in the comments below. Are you a secret salsa dancer, a backyard extraminer? Let's make this space a mosaic of our diverse passions and quirky obsessions. And don't stop there. Connect with fellow eccentric enthusiasts right here in our community. Imagine finding someone who gets just as giddy about vintage comic books as you do, or who shares your love for urban gardening. This is where offbeat friendships that leap beyond common interests are formed. But wait, but wait, but wait, 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 wait. There's more to ensure you never miss out on any of our zany adventures beyond the field hit that subscribe button and join us for more explorations into the land of the delightful and delightfully unconventional. A world where every cork and obsession is celebrated with arms wide open. Remember folks, life is too short to be anything but unapologetically weirdly yourself. So let's band together, embracing each twist and turn on this journey far from the sidelines. Who's ready to come? Who's ready? Who's ready? Who's ready to create an epic story where everyone plays the starring role in their own offbeat adventure? I do.
sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.